We're starting to get down to the nitty-gritty. Just four teams left in the Carabao Cup, and the stage is set for an absorbing semi-final. It's Manchester City. They take on Crystal Palace live. Hello and welcome. The rain has been lashing down all day long and no end in sight, apparently, here at the Etihad Stadium in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is the semi-final first leg in the cup. It is Manchester City up against Crystal Palace. Well, Derek, it's said that semi-finals are the best games to win and the worst to lose. And while the hosts are clear favourites, I still think this could be a great match. Full of individual battles, a lot of passion and great skill as well. And so they start at 11 for Manchester City. Everson is the goalkeeper. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Ilkay Gundogan in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. of the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, it's the same formation, but they use it to press the ball high up the field, and rarely do the wide players drop deep to defend. And watch out for the midfield three, who continually rotate their positions. Thank you, Etihad Stadium. Enjoy the game. And the contest begins. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Wilfried Zaha. Plenty of space for the Crystal Palace attack. And it crossed the byline, a goal kick as a result. Well, whenever you're trying to defend against Wilfried Zaha, quite simply, you've got to be on your toes. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, Derek, we know his movement is very clever, but it's the speed of that movement that causes defenders so many problems. He's got great pace, he gets 1v1 against the goalkeepers, and nobody can recover. Robertson, it's with Gundogan, tremendous ball played through, can he put it away, and a goal, the opening statement in this semi-final, how important could that prove to me? Well as you can see, it's a really good pass from Gundogan, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And the action underway again. The onus very much on Palace to find a response now. Zaha. Looks as though they might be in just for a second or two. Kevin De Bruyne. Intercepting it intelligently. Under duress there. Luka Milivojevic. 
Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Oh, fancy footwork. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. Put in by De Bruyne. Well, still an issue here. Well, getting in the way. Superb save. It's over. Not the best clearance. De Bruyne. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Chance to cross. And it's a good deflection. That'll be a corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? Sound piece of goalkeeping. Kevin De Bruyne. Not showing good patience. He has time to play it over. Making sure nothing came of it. Now they stop them in their tracks. And space for them here on the flank. And a very good challenge. Kevin De Bruyne. City moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? A oh, disappointing end to the move. Gundogan. On to Grealish. And he's in an offside position. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Odson Edouard, extremely sloppy in possession. And that is going to be all for the first 45 then, here at the Etihad Stadium. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. So back in business here, City with the lead, but they won't be taking anything for granted. He's taken on his opponent here. Dangerous ball. The clearance wasn't decisive. Threat over for now, it seems. A very significant transfer story that certainly merits coverage. Sergio Ramos has completed his move to Manchester City. Well, he'll certainly bring a lot of know-how to this team. And, of course, Gundogan! And saved by the keeper. Both substitutes who've been getting ready will come on at the same time.
Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, he has players waiting at the back post. Gundogan making sure it didn't get past him. Gundogan, easy save. Just a quick reminder, action from the third round of the FA Cup coming up live on EA TV. It's Manchester City versus Sunderland. Well, it's great to have a break from the league for the players and the fans. Everybody loves this competition and so do I. It should be a good game. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Ducouré. Harvey Barnes. Now showing excellent vision. Zaha a really top-notch piece of defending superb block Kevin De Bruyne moving forward effectively and a good-looking ball oh that is a majestic goal volleyed home with precision and style superbly done Well, here you can see the delivery from Grealish is absolutely spot on. And then just look at the finish, Derek. He reads the flight perfectly and absolutely... ...absolutely smashes it beyond the goalkeeper. There's just no stopping that. And Manchester City will go to their bench. 2-0 now and back underway now this is the home of live football and we'll have live coverage of the third round of the FA Cup for you it's Crystal Palace taking on Stoke City well that's a game to look forward to plenty to play for in that one it should be a really entertaining game he must finish oh it was close but he's put it over and they're making a change A change in the offing for City. Ake. It's with Joao Cancelo. Fine sequence of passes. Silva. Well, they might be onto something. Well, good clean catch by the keeper. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. There it is! The goals keep coming. No stopping them today. Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished for defending. Well, the action underway again. So comfortable for City, it's turning into a trouncing. And Palace will get the throw in. Can he put it away? Well, such a high degree of difficulty, not quite in the end. Well, how good was that? It's such a difficult piece of skill, which he made look so easy. That deserved a goal. To be replaced by number three, Tyrick Mitchell. And number 16, Joachim Anderson. De Bruyne. Nathan Ake here. Oh, good vision. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. 
And he stopped them in their tracks. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. In the right place to cut out the pass. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? The final whistle then, the end of this first leg, and Manchester City will carry a lead into the decisive return match. Yeah, and what a performance it was. You can see the confidence in these players. The belief has been growing with every game. This tie's not over yet, but they must know, barring a major upset, they're just 90 minutes away from the final now. No two ways about it, he really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.